Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both quarterbacks have reliable tight ends. They know they'll be able to count on to make plays. It's the Raiders going up against the Cardinals. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 7 matchup. Moore's going to be back deep here on the opening kick. The Cardinals ready here for the kickoff. Once again today, he connected on over 60% of his throws last week. Maurice Jones-Drew lined up in the backfield. The Raiders will take the snap from the 30, and they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. Anytime you get over four yards on first down, it doesn't matter what the play is. Is it a run or a pass? That time, nice throw by the QB. Now they're in great position, second down and short. It's now second down. An extra tight end alert. on the field for this alert, one. Baby, alert. Hand off made, and he's going to be tackled right around the 37. And now a look at the Raiders lineup. Their passing attack this year has been one of the worst in the league. Third down here, offense trying to pick up the first. Throws the pass. Jones Drew's got the catch and the first. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They send the tight end in motion. They'll go ground. In the end, it picks up only a yard. And here's a look at the defensive unit that'll be looking to halt this offense today. Coming up, second down. Two tight ends on the field here. Good coverage by Cromarty that time as the pass goes incomplete. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch, not able to get it. But what a job it is. The Raiders will take the snap from the 45. The Raiders now move the chains. Early in this game, Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike. Nice job by the offense here. Good play calling, too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. He makes the catch. Jones is able to get the job done and picks up the first down. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. First down at the 31. Reese is taking the handoff. Tackled at the 29-yard line. This will be the eighth play of this drive. 
Offense lines up here. Tight end in motion. The Raiders have it at the 29. Maurice Jones-Drew will mark him at the 29. Well, if you want to run the football outside, you better block the outside linebacker. They did not do it on the offensive side. What a play by that outside linebacker getting there, showing the strength he has and stopping that run. Third and eight as his target. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Well, Jim, that field goal puts him in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. It'll be a touchback. Palmer's heading towards the huddle now, having connected on over 70% of his passes last week. First down coming up. Lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Will go ground. Picked up a couple that time. And now we'll look at the Cardinals offense. They rank towards the middle of the pack in passing offense this season. The Cardinals doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms let's go, let's go. today and throughout the stadium. Second and eight. Ellington's got it on the handoff. They bring him down at the 29-yard line. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets them a few yards. The Cardinals have been involved in some tight games these past two weeks. They won one last week, but now they trail in another close one, Phil. Jim, in these close games, which we seem to see almost every single week, it usually comes down to which team doesn't turn the football over. Games, 17. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. Ellington's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. First down at the 46. To the ground. Ellington looking for space. And now here's the Raiders defense stacks up. This is a hungry bunch that loves to get after the quarterback. Loves to post numbers when it comes to sacks and quarterback earns. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Offense lines up here. Third and short. Dwyer's hand at the football. Fights off the hit. Dwyer's tackled down at the 38. That play is good. Good. First nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run and the defense being too aggressive they're over pursuing so you do the little counter go the opposite direction and it works well new set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground offense lines up here out of the shotgun risky throw in the double coverage there but this will go incomplete Second down coming up. Palmer by himself in the backfield. Let's go. Let's go. Blue 58. Blue He'll take the snap from the gun, looking to the right side and throwing. Dead out route that time was run to perfection by the receiver. He made such a sharp cut. He gets gives himself some space from the defender, and the quarterback puts the football right on target, just short of that first down marker. Offense lines up here. Let's go, let's go. The Cardinals will take 30. Out again. 
bring us the fourth down. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you the tackle. A field goal tie. Kick it. It's through there. The kick is good. Well, nice job by the kicker that time. Get the tying field goal. And you love the kickers when they make it. And if they miss it, my gosh, you don't even want to look at them. Cardinals getting ready to kick it away. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. They face first down. All right, here we go. Tight ends in motion here. Maurice Jones Drew gets it here. That brings the play to an end. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. The defense comes out in the nickel. The Raiders now at the 31. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. How about the defensive line? Get that penetration getting off the football at the snap and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. It's a two tight end formation. On the money, he's taken down at the 42. What a nice catch, Tom, to receive get past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. First down at the 42. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. Brought down at the 44. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. They bring in the extra tight end. Gets it out for the completion. And he's tackled just two yards short of a first down. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. It'll be third down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. They'll run it here. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. The Raiders are great advantage in a football game. They know the situation here. It's a short yardage situation. So don't try to do anything fancy. Just run it up in there with power and get the first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Jones Drews lined up as the single back. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. That time the defender was in excellent position. He jumps up and knocks the ball down. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. They send the tight end in motion. 
Second and ten. Maurice Jones drew. He's brought down at the 46. And here in what's been a very competitive game so far, you see that the rushing numbers can certainly be an area that they can improve on to maybe push them in front the rest of the way. Yeah, stay with the running game. The game is tied. You said it right, so don't panic. Stay with the running game, and sooner or later, I think it'll get going. We ready? Five and eight. Third and ten. Reese is going to take the handoff now. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. King is back now. He'll be punting. bounce this time as it's headed to the end zone for a touchback. The Cardinals now ready to take over as their offense heads onto the field. They've come out in the dime package. Let's go, let's go. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle, over to Carlson, and he's tackled. He'll be a yard short of the first. You need balance in the NFL. That's what it's all about. Why do you want balance? To keep the defense guessing what's coming next. That play call on first down throw, a nice throw and catch just short of the first down. Ellington is in the backfield. Here we go. Second down and one. Palmer still got it on the play action. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Palmer's job is to sell that play fake, and boy, did he do it that time. It fooled the defense, and they get the completion. Ellington's in the backfield. Single back set. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Second down and 12. Got the completion, and they bring him down at the 33-yard line. Ellington still down, so we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. After that last reception, they are still eight yards away from a first. Third and eight coming up. Let's go, let's go. Three, nine, five. Homer's got it in the gun. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is, he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. Moore's got it on the return. The tackle was made. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Tight end in motion. Maurice Jones Drew gets it here, and that's a two yard gain. Jones Drew's a day. Runner, when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense! They bottle him up for a short game. The Raiders snap it at the 31. Caught as the first. Every wide receiver wants to be considered a number one option, and here in the first half, this is the guy who has been one, Phil. Well, he is a number one receiver. And we talk about number one receivers in the NFL. That means they're able to get open no matter what the situations are presented to them. And the designs, they have been outstanding, giving him a chance to get open so far here today. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. 
The Raiders offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. Cars lined up, two tight end set. First and ten. Reese is going to secure the handoff. And that's Abraham in on the stop. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Double tight end formation. Finds his mark. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look out. Offense lines up here. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Sticks to his hands. Jones Drew is tackled down. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. Carr's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Second down and four. Incomplete. Peterson was in the vicinity. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football falls incomplete. Third down on the way. the grab. Peterson that time on the tackle. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Looking to go up top again on first down. He's got the catch. Games 11. It's still early, but we've seen this wide receiver come out and make plays already. Yeah, I know it's early, but you can tell he is fired up. He has come out here with tons of energy, and every play is full speed. Kind of reminds me of Jerry Rice back in his heyday. Ready to make the stop on the goal line, loading up that defensive front. They bring him to the turf. That leads us to second down. Play after play after play here on this drive. They want to keep feeding him the football. He stacked up at that point. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Third and goal. Touchdown. Raiders. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. The Raiders were very effective on that scoring drive, especially via the pass. Over 50 passing yards on that scoring drive. Peterson's going to run this one out. And they're all over him at the 18 yard line. The Cardinals bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Carson Palmer takes a look down from under center. First down and 10. Ellington's taking the handoff. And it's Roach there to meet him. Number 38. Ellington is going to be tired after this run. That is a good long run. The offensive line was terrific, and he does a good job finding a hole and picking up those yards. The Cardinals take it from the 38, trying to work that left side. Floyd's tackled down at the 45. That's a good job by the quarterback. He read the defense, nothing open deep, so he throws it short, and it puts him in great position for a second down play call. Wide receivers are bunched up. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. This will be second down. Here we go. Here we go. 
three-step drop. Looking across the middle, and this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. So after that last incompletion, it is third and three. Let's go, let's go. Palmer's back in shotgun formation. Michael Floyd hauls it in. Touchdown, Cardinals. Touchdown, Cardinals. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. The point after is good. The Raiders will get the ball back in a tie game. First half coming to a close. Scores 10 to 10. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. Moore's running this one out. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. The Raiders are ready to take over now as their offense heads onto the field. Ready, ready, Tight ends 18. in motion alert, here. Baby, alert, alert. Now first and ten. Jones Drews got it on the handoff. Bishop's in on the tackle. Jones Drews the one who is down and will step aside for just a moment. Two tight ends on the field here. Second down and ten. Cars unable to connect that time. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. All right, here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Third down and ten. And he's going to be sacked. So... Just three plays and out for the offense. They're in punting formation. Peterson's just going to wave his arm here and make the fair catch. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Raiders official. Maurice Jones-Drew's injury appears to be related to the upper body. Trainers are saying it is a severe injury, but would not confirm what the injury is at this time. Throwing now to his left. Here's Brown. And he steps out of the field of play. The Cardinals are tied up right now, and part of what's been working for them is the passing game. Palmer's looked in control of the offense to this point. Hard to believe this game is tied when you watch the offense and the quarterback. They are hot. They're throwing the football. They're making it work. Get ahead with another drive. Throws the pass. Secures it with two hands. player is down on the field and the training staff comes out and will step aside for just a moment. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Homer standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, when you play in this cover three defense where three defenders are playing deep, that's great. You stop the deep passes. But who's going to stop the quick ones? Well, nobody. That's why the quarterback and the receivers are having really good success throwing these slant patterns. Get ready. Three, five. Three, five. So first and goal to go. Brings it into his body. Picks up eight here. The Cardinals use another timeout here, and they have one left. ready to play after calling a timeout.
Second down now. Offense lines up here. Ellington's handed the football. Power surge for six. Touchdown, Arizona. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Raiders official. I'm being told it's more of a minor concern than anything, but they're just going to hold him out for a bit longer before he's allowed to come back out on the field. Back to you. Cardinals getting ready to kick it away. And no return this time as he takes a knee. The Raiders offense now coming out. Nickel formation for the defense here. First and ten. Reese is going to take the handoff now. Gains about three. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Reese is going to secure the handoff. He's brought down. Third down now. is taking the handoff. That picks up seven. The Raiders signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. First down here after the run. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Card is going to take it from the gun. They're going to get him here for a sack. Quarterback's got to know when it's inside of two minutes and that clock is moving, you want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long, gets the sack, and that just kills uh, the time management. The Raiders from the 27. Peterson gets a hand in there and knocks it away. So that's going to do it for the first half. Cardinals are up here in this one. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. The Cardinals come out for the next possession. Let's go, let's go. One, Nickel formation One, here for the defense. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. Justin Tuck has a sack. Well, good job that time by the defense. They catch the offense off guard, and they send more guys than the offensive line can block. When you're outnumbered, it's up to the quarterback to get rid of the football. He does it, and he takes the sack. After that sack, it's now second down and 17. Browns in the slot. Let's go, let's go. Palmer's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Incomplete, looking underneath that time. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Palmer's got it in the gun. And he's going to be dumped. And that's a three and out. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. The Cardinals will punt the football. Back 
tackle down at the 46 yard line. Well, only a couple yards that time by the punt returner. Good defense by the punt coverage team. They get down their speed, they hustle, they're all around him, and they only give up a couple yards. They send the tight end in motion. First down at the 46. Maurice Jones Drew. He's taken down at the 47. The Raiders have continued to try to find a rhythm on the ground. Jones Drew's finding it impossible to find any open space. Well, when something's not working, what do you do? You do something else. How about some short passes? Get the defense to back off so then maybe you can run the football better. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. It's a two tight end formation. Third down and eight. And he's going to be dropped with a sack, and they're going to be punting after a short series. we got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. And no return as this goes for a touchback. are getting set for their next possession. First and ten. Ellington's got it on the handoff. Ellington is tackled down. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down here. The defense comes out of the nickel. Full start on the offense. We'll set them back. Full start offense. And here we have second down. Ellington is in the backfield. Palmer's back in shotgun formation. And incomplete. they do on this third down situation quarters formation here for the defense takes it from the gun complete to Floyd Woodson's the one who brings him to the ground keep the momentum on your side you got a lead here in the second half nice play that time you pick up the first down let's see if you can take advantage of it offense lines up here the Cardinals from the 37. The give. Ellington looking out wide. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Dwyer is in the backfield. The Cardinals will take the snap from the 40. Left side. They'll mark him at the 46. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Palmer standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. And the throw, it's incomplete. I think as time has gone on, more and more coaches and teams, we see them going for it on fourth and short. But this decision, you're, you're winning the game, fourth and short, you're near midfield. I don't think you go for it. Don't let the 
pressure the fans or your players get into your mind. Put the football away. That's the right decision. The Raiders ready now to start their next series. Take it here from the 22. Come on, baby, alert! Alert! Come on, baby, alert! Alert! The Raiders from the 22. He's got the catch. Taken down at the 27. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. The pass play was good for five. Second and five coming up. They bring in the extra tight end. Screen. Catch made. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than an incompletion. The quarterback gets a completion, and they pick up a yard or two. Jones Drews lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Raiders get a first down. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Offense lines up here. The Raiders will take the snap from the 35. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down following the run. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The play clock's running down. And nothing there as that was double covered. I think, Jim, you know, when you got a close game like this, it's third and long on the offensive side, you got to be smart. You know, don't take a chance. If you take a chance and cause a turnover, then that could turn the game around big time. So I expect the quarterback here to be very conservative with his decision. Offense lines up here. Third down and 11. The defense gets a sack. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. Peterson with a chance to return this one. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. We've got a player down, so we'll step aside and be back in just a moment. The defense comes out of the dime. Brown's lined up in the slot. First down and 10. Out again. That's a gain of 10. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game, and you, you always hear this control the tempo of the game, just move the chains, and that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. First down at the 38. Justin Tuck has a sack. There's nothing worse to a quarterback than have an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time the right side of the line collapses and it leads to a sack of the QB. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Quick drop back. He'll throw it over the middle. Michael Floyd hauls it in. Floyd's a great slant route runner. He knows how to stick his outside foot in the ground and go right across the middle of the field. The quarterback puts it right on target, and he picks up good yards. It doesn't quite get a first down, though. Brown's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third and seven. Play fake. Eyeing that left side. Homer's off the mark there. Incomplete. 
man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see his player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Moore is going to take this one from the 12. He'll pick up seven this time. They come to the line, and it's first down. First down at the 19. Maurice Jones Drew gets it here. As he moves across the first down yardage and a new set of downs. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh my gosh, that opens up many more possibilities. What you can do on the offensive and side. The Good job by the offense. Hard pass will be incomplete this time. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch, not able to get it. And what a job and effort. Second and ten. Looking across the middle, the pass is incomplete. There was no one open. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage that time. When you want to shut down a receiver, Really, the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. The pass oh, play man, like, fails like. to work, and now it's third down. Carr comes out in the pistol. Throws to the right, and Powers is able to knock that pass away for the incompletion. He did everything right, didn't he? The cornerback that time, he was physical. He stayed on the wide receiver. He was reading the quarterback, so it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Turn the ball's coming out to the 20. The Cardinals getting set now for the next series. Offense lines up here. First down at the 20. Keeps it on the play fake. Complete to Floyd. Floyd takes the hit and is brought down. When you play man to man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. Now first and ten. Brings it in. Nice tackle. Nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Carson Palmer will take this snap from out of the gun. They'll go shotgun here. Looking to the right side and throwing. This play will hold up. He's inbounds. Well, they talk about it's third down lead. You got to pick up third downs to, to have success and win football games. Good play call, good pass, good catch. Now it's third and short. I like the offense's chances. Third and two. Shows all kinds of awareness here as he picks up the first down. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back to Oakland for the start of the fourth after this. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. And the catch is made by Larry Fitzgerald. There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. Ellington. 
Washington is in the backfield. Gets the handle here. Max there to take him down. Looking ahead, the Raiders will be on the road in Cleveland next week, while the Cardinals will be playing at home next week. Double tight end formation. First and ten. Ellington's handed the football. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. An extra tight end on the field for this one. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. Dwyer is in the backfield. Palmer's going to take it from the gun. Looks to his left. Here's Brown. Picks up about five. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Justin Tuck has a sack. That's what you call pressure. When everything around the quarterback, they're all at his feet. The offensive linemen are around him. He sees the arms of the defensive linemen all reaching for him. There's nothing he can do but fall to the ground. Palmer looking down the field, and the throw is incomplete. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. And lining up for a 44-yard field goal. here on the field goal try. Well, even though they get the field goal that time, it's still disappointing. You get in that position, you'd like to score a touchdown. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. This will be coming out to the 20 as he thinks better of running it out of the end zone this time. The Raiders come onto the field now for this next series. Tight end in motion. First down at the 20. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. And Washington's in on the tackle. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Games 19. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. He's setting up here. He's Sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. He's going to be tackled right around the 46-yard line. Jim, this defensive end is so athletic. Well, it, it measures up to you because you're an athletic guy. He holds his position, stops the runner for no gain. Great job. Two tight ends on the field here. Second down and 10. The defense gets the sack. Well, that time the quarterback didn't hold the football. The left side of the line just, they just collapse. He doesn't even feel it or see it, and he goes down for the sack. Quarterback coming to the line. 
hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game. Intercepted. He's in the clear. The 30, the 20. Tackles made. It's an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. take the snap from inside the red zone. A week ago, they had a lot of success inside the 20. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really been beat up. That's a gain of seven. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second down. Throw to the left. Arizona is in for the score. Touchdown. When you got a lead and you march down the field and you add on to that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Arizona Cardinals for the extra point. The point I is in the books. The Cardinals ball hawking defense certainly set up that score. The interception, the good field position, and then the touchdown. Cardinals getting ready to kick it away. Moore's going to test the coverage this time. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Moore's the injured player, and we'll take a break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. Daniel Bellini is working on getting us an update on the injury as we return to action. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Hey, Cars lined up two Red tight ends set. Red First down at the 19. Pulls it in. Gets about nine on the play. Looking at the passing numbers on both sides of the ball, but just not there. The coverage has been good and has been hard to move the ball against those secondaries. Yeah, good job for the defense today. They got a good pass rush going. The coverage has been good down the field. And also, the defense has been good, but the quarterback has not been real sharp. After the catch, it's now second down and one. This will go incomplete. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time, but the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. Now looking at third down. And Holmes is lined up now as a slot receiver. Reese is going to take the handoff now. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. No huddle time. Quarterback coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. We'll run it with him again. Drag to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. Nickel formation for the defense here. And Holmes is a receiver in the slot. Third down and one. Reese is going to secure the handoff. And Williams is going to make the tackle. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Throws the pass. On the money. He's brought to a halt. 
first down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. We ready? Zebra! 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 Flag is out and sailing out of bounds. Intentional grounding offense. He thought he was going to avoid the sack by releasing the football, but there was no one in sight from his own side, and he is flagged for intentional ground. Yeah, it's a good call, good call. Nobody near the football, definitely inside the tackle box. So uh, a good call by the referee. Right, he He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really been beat up. Barnes unable to find his target that time. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays. But a good play there and another incomplete pass. The Raiders with a little uncertainty. So they take a timeout here before third down. That last pass incomplete. And it brings up third down. It's a two tight end formation. Oh, alert, alert. Cars gonna take the snap from the shotgun. Has his man. Steps out of bounds. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything and it's gonna work and they stop the offense that time. Going for it on fourth down. Jones Drews lined up in a single back formation. They fail to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. Hard to throw over some of these linebackers in the NFL now. They got such good size. You try to throw over them. Here's what happens. These big guys will knock it down. Cardinals getting ready now to start their drive. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game. And they get to him at the 45. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. That'll be second and four after the running play. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Here's the handoff, and he is tackled at the 44. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home, they stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Palmer's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Third and three. The give out of the eye. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. First down here after the run. Offense lines up here. Again, they'll lean on him. And this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Ellington is in the backfield. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Justin Tuck in on the tackle. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Third and ten, following the run. Ellington's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Gets it again. The ball is out. And he's brought to the ground. 
great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good, the offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. He'll fire it out to the left. With two hands, he has it. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really been beat up. Second down and two. Jones got the catch and the first. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And Holmes is in the slot. Will run it. Here's the handoff. And that's good for only a yard or two. The Raiders are down on the scoreboard, and this running game is a big reason why. Jones Drews had a lot of trouble finding space. And here in the second half, they can't continue to wait. Yeah, good, good point, Jim. How long do you wait on this running game? And the you know, running game is all about power, and the offensive line has not had that today. That's why they're losing here in the second half. That will stop the play right there. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Jones Drew lined up in the backfield. That's dropped by Jones, who couldn't bring it in. When you see a receiver drop a pass, it does go through the quarterback's mind. Well, he's a good player, and I want to keep his confidence level up, and I want to keep him into the game. So when you get a chance, you throw him another football so he can make that catch and get right back in with it. Second and ten. Play action. He'll throw it over the middle. Carr's pass will go for an incompletion. Four, Quarterbacks four, love four, to see four, a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. They've come out in the dime package. Quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game. The Raiders from the 27. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Number Fourth down and ten, and they're going to go for it. Here we go. Cars got it in the gun. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage, and there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Takes the knee. They'll try over again on second down. This will be the final snap. Here we go. Takes the knee. They came in here trying to exorcise all of the demons from that loss a week ago, but instead they have to walk away short of victory again. Yeah, boy, it's going to be tough to take. They put so much, so much emotion in trying to change things around this week, and you, when you do that, that's tough to overcome. So they're going to have to go back.